What's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I have a really, really cool software for you guys. So this one is called Wondershare Uniconverter and I actually did this one about two years ago, but a lot of things have changed, a lot of things are new. So I wanted to go and make a updated video. So right now, as you notice right here, we have the software itself. But before you do that, you have to go to the website, obviously, get your version, install it, and then you can come back to this video. So once you have installed the software and you have opened it up right here, this is basically the menu. So a Wondershare Unit Converter is basically a really, really handy tool to convert videos, to download videos, to compress videos. There's even a built-in video editor. You can merge videos. We have a screen recorder, a DVD burner, a player, and also a toolbox. So let's start off with the top one, which is the converter. So right here, we can drag in a file that is, for example, .mov, and you want to convert that to MP4. It is really, really simple that you can just go and drag and drop your files right here in this window. So right here, I dragged in a stream overlay 2022. Right now, you can clearly see what the format is. It is MP4, you can see the resolution, you can see the length, and right here, you will see this arrow, meaning that it will actually show what it will be converted to. So right here, we have obviously WAV, but WAV is an audio format. We want to basically choose our output format at the very bottom. So instead of WAV, let's go and convert this one to a different video format. So this one is already mp4. So let's say that we're going to convert this one to .mov Then obviously we're not going to pick 4k video because we're not going to upscale the whole thing We're going to just go and convert this into a standard HD 1080p the same resolution as we rendered the video originally in mp4 So we're going to click on that and right now it is basically selected to .mov right here We have the resolution. We also have the size We can also see that right here the file is 474 megabytes and it will actually be about 100 megabytes or so smaller so that's also a really cool benefit so once you're ready to convert your video to a different format you just want to click on start all or you want to click on convert right here because start all at the bottom is you have if you have multiple videos in your list basically means that you can just download YouTube videos really really simple from a website support to download videos for more than 10,000 video and audio sites such as YouTube you get the point so right here we have a video compressor now a compressor is basically going to shrink your video down because right here you can choose the file size so if you drag in a video we're gonna go and pick the stream overlay right here we have the original size and we have this arrow which is 166 megabytes so the video will almost be like a quarter of the original one but I have to mention that if you want to compress your video you have to make sure that the quality will stay the same so right here we have the settings and you want to make sure that you will go and choose the right settings right here so right here it says like the best quality you want to place that to a hundred percent your bit rate you want to keep that on the standard the format mp4 the resolution is going to be auto you want to click on okay and obviously right now it's set instead of 160 it went up to 237 but it's still about the half of the original size without losing any quality so that's really really nice that you can compress videos that way all right so right here we have the video editor menu now obviously I'm not gonna go through every single menu this video would be turned out way too long but you can basically trim your video you can crop it you can you know remove certain sections from your video you can watermark it you can add in certain effects you can subtitle your video you can add in audio you can go and mess with the speed if you want to change the duration it is very very cool that there's also a built-in editor right here and then right here we have the merge drag in your video and then right here it says trim and then you can just chop off certain sections from your video to merge it into a shorter version for example so it's really really handy that there's also this feature right here in the uniconverter software to be able to trim down videos if you have let's say a five minute video but you only want to use two minutes of that you can really really simply trim it right here so once you're ready obviously you can just click on trim and then hit okay and then you want to click on start all to remove the desired section all right guys so the next one obviously very straightforward a screen recorder you you can just capture your entire screen such as what OBS does you can also record your a webcam your microphone and you even have an application recorder and that basically means that you can just choose a certain application such as a separate window so let's say that you want to record your gameplay but you don't want to have like your entire screen captured where you L tap out of the game for example you can just boot up your game click on application recorder select your game and then only the game will be captured and nothing else that you will do on your computer will be shown in the video right 
here we have a DVD burner, a very, very straightforward. You can just click on here to import your videos, very straightforward. Also just go and insert your DVD into the slot and then you can just start burning the DVDs right away. We even have a player right here if you want to preview the videos that you have merged or that you have edited, for example. And right here at the bottom, at last, we have a toolbox, which basically means like auto crop, automatically resize videos for different social media channels. So let's say that you have a video from YouTube, you wanna post that to Instagram as well, but Instagram has a regular limit of 60 seconds or it's gonna turn into a reel. That's basically what you can do. We have a smart trimmer, you can add in an intro and an outro, a watermark editor and so forth. We even have a video stabilizer, a background remover that's very, very handy. So guys, this software is packed with different features. Make sure to check out the website because it says a new application recorder coming record the screen of a particular application while using another one without any hassle. So that basically means that you are recording, let's say your entire screen right here, then you can still open up other software above that and it will not show into your recording. It's really, really cool. So guys, make sure to check out the link down in the description to get your copy of Uniconverter. Thanks a lot for a wonder share for sponsoring this video and I'll catch you guys obviously in the next video.